Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Android SDK on your Ubuntu operating system. So let's download Android SDK uh, kit first. So just write in your favorite uh, search engine Android SDK and search for it. And the first link you will find here is developer.android.com slash sdk slash index.html. Just click this link here and you will see here different flavors of uh, Android SDK bundles. It's available for Windows 32-bit, Windows 64-bit, Mac OS, Linux 32-bit and uh, Linux 64-bit. And one we are interested is in is Linux 32-bit. Because I have 32-bit OS type, that's why I'm downloading 32-bit uh, bundle. But if you have Linux 64-bit, just click this 64-bit uh, bundle here. And so just click this 32-bit and in here it will show the terms and condition. You can read them and just click this. I have uh, read and agreed the terms and condition and just click this download button. So I have already downloaded uh, this zip file, so I uh, am not downloading it for the second time but just click this and it will take about one minute uh, to download because it's a relatively big file about 500 MB and once this file is downloaded in your system it will uh, look like this zip file okay so what we are going to do is we are going to just double click this zip file from here and we are going to extract this file so just click this extract button and just extract this file in some specified folder so I have already made this Android SDK folder here but if you don't have this folder just create one for you and give it a name and just go inside this folder and click this extract button so your uh, zip file will be extracted in that Android SDK folder okay now in order to run Android apps you need to install uh, JRE and JDK so to install JRE and JDK uh, we will open our terminal first and in here we will give this command. So just give sudo apt-get install openjdk-7-jre minus minus space openjdk-7-jdk and space ist plugin. So we are also going to install ist plugin so just give ist-7-plugin. Minus minus seven minus plugin. So just give this command in order to install JDK and JRE and IST plugin in your system which uh, will help you to run and develop compile Android apps and press enter. And right now I can see uh, that I have already installed these uh, uh, IST plugin and JDK and JRE in my system that's why it's showing the message that this plugin is already in the newest form. But for the first time uh, when you are installing in uh, this these uh, uh, JDK and JR in your system, you need to give your password because you are using sudo, and you need to just uh, give some uh, yes commands uh, to uh, just complete the or finish the installation. Once you have finished this installation and once you have extracted this uh, file in your uh, specified folder in my case android sdk just go to that extracted file and you will find two folder here one is sdk which contains uh, tools and platform tools and extras and build tools here and other is the eclipse ide so just go to this eclipse folder here and in here you will find an executable table executable called eclipse here so just double click this uh, eclipse executable and for the first time when you are uh, running this eclipse ide you it will ask you to uh, define the default workspace workspace is nothing but uh, the space where it saves your project so the default workspace is home slash ubuntu slash workspace but you can change this workspace by browsing your specified location and click ok and now 
this SDK has started and it will give this pop-up for contributing contribute user statistics to Google if you agree to it just give your statistics or if you don't just give no and finish and now you can develop new Android apps in this Eclipse IDE so when you want to uh, create some new app just go to new and create Android application project and give it a name test and click next next and next next and finish so in this way you can install Android SDK in your Ubuntu operating system I hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now